do you think that part of the the reduced systemic inflammation has to do with the fact that you know you're if you're eating within the time restricted window and this is something you know your metabolism is is optimal during this certain time certain time window so the first time you take in food sort of starts these peripheral clocks on the liver for example which regulate glucose metabolism yeah. and if you you know don't eat within a window where you're most insulin sensitive and you start eating later then you're going to have more inflammation because your blood glucose levels are going to rise and it's going to cause all sorts of problems same thing goes with you know fatty acid fatty acid metabolism yeah. right i yeah. mean the intake of fat itself actually can inhibit the beta oxidation process yeah. right yeah. so you know if you're if you're you know eating within this certain window you're affecting your metabolism and that in turn would then affect inflammation yeah um possibly but yeah uh, so there is also this uh, idea that uh, there is some amount of gut leakiness and uh, so some of the bacterial uh, proteins or bacterial membrane component, for example, LPS, and few other things can leak through our gut lining into circulation, and that can elicit immune response. But we know that with time-restricted eating, uh, since our gut repairs itself um, at night for us, um, then during fasting time, the gut has enough time to repair so that the gut leakiness goes down. So in that way, our immune system is actually less exposed to these antigens that might leak through the gut. Right. That's another way right. that yeah, uh, inflammation absolutely. can go down. I, I remember a colleague of mine who, um, his name is Mark Shiganaga. He was a former colleague of mine when I was doing a postdoc with Bruce Ames, just a brilliant guy, gut expert. And uh, he was telling me all about, I remember him telling me about how the gut can handle high fat meal the best early in the morning yeah. and because of, of all this repair mechanisms and things that are happening like the first thing in the morning it, it's better it's better to eat he was saying your high fat meal was more um your gut could handle it better than it could like later on in the evening so it's kind of interesting but the uh the lps leakage and all this uh, very relevant for inflammation the, yeah. the gut's one of the major sources of inflammation yeah